punish crooked police. A man was pulled over by the cops, so he pulled out his phone and started recording. And in the video, you can see one of the officers throw a bag that looked like a bag of marijuana in his back seat. What's going on, y'all? Today I'm driving. I'm back, 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 biggity back. I'm back again. Let me slide up just a little bit, y'all. So today I have stir fry. This is from a place called Big Child Grill. Um, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and it is good, y'all. I had it before, but I haven't had it in like over a year because um, of the pandemic. So let me go ahead. So I'm use a fork or a spoon. I'm use both. So I'm gonna say Grayson, and I'm gonna tell y'all what's in the stir fry because there's two different ones. Father God, I come today to ask you watch over this food. Please have your nourishment to my body. Please have not just this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. One time. Amen. Excuse me. So in this one, I have brown rice, lo mein, I believe, broccoli, corn, onions. I think it's bok choy in there. And then the meat, I have calamari and steak. And then in this one, I have brown rice, the flat noodles, red and green peppers, corn, broccoli, spinach. And for the meats, I have chicken and sausage. Oh, and I have eggs in both of them. So I'm about to, let me stir these up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna use my fork. I don't think I'm using my fork. And now I don't want to hear nobody saying nothing if I can eat all this food. Because look, this is a lot of food. <laughs> I want to see y'all eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's squirted out like that. And then they do, um,. They do add sauce in there as well. So I have peanut sauce and oyster sauce. And then I think I have an Asian barbecue sauce in this one. And I haven't had those sauces before, so I don't know what they're gonna taste like. We're gonna see what they taste like, y'all. Oh my God. I'm trying to get everything on here. Once y'all know I'm greedy. Let me a little bit more flat noodle on there. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then for the seasonings, y'all, I have, I don't remember, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is good. And y'all, what I like about this, when you actually sit down, because it's buffet style, you get to make your own, you get to decide what you get in your bowl. Now, normally they let you walk down the, um, walk down the buffet table and put everything in your own bowl. And then you pass it off to the, the hibachi cook. And then they cook it, and then they, you go sit down, and they bring it to your table. But because of COVID, I don't know if they're doing it anymore. But even still, like when I did mine to go, they gave me a piece of paper, and I was able to check what I wanted in my bowl. So if it tastes nasty, it's because you made it nasty. So you can't get mad at nobody else but self. But the good part about being buffet. Is it nasty? I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> and it's only $14, y'all. $14. All you can eat is stir fry. Let's see that. Calamari and steak. Mmm. Oh, this one has mushroom, too.
How y'all day going? Mine's going good. I'm just getting out of bed. What time is it? 3.23. I got out of bed like 2 o'clock. <laughs> Y'all, so much goodness, I don't know where to go. Now, nah, see, I should have brought my real fork in here because this ain't doing it. Or maybe somebody can be like, oh, you should use a spoon. <laughs> Eat the oil. Y'all see this? It is just, let me just get all a close up. Hmm. Had to make sure y'all got a look close of the uppity up to see what is in there. Yeah, I love calamari. I broke the four. Dang. Tea time with trash. Punish crooked police. That's what we're talking about. Two incidents just recently happened that I'm about to talk about. Excuse me. I waited to talk about the first one. And I'm glad I did because now another one popped up. You see how it just happened like clockwork? Crooked government officials rule the world. The end. So, I'm going to talk about the, the one that's getting more publicity right now. A man was pulled over by the cops, so he pulled out his phone and started recording. And in the video, you can see one of the officers throw a bag that looked like a bag of marijuana in his back seat. And when the guy asked him, hey, what is that? I got you on camera. The officer said, hey, I got you on camera as well. So 
So the police department put out a this is a big piece of broccoli. The police department put out a statement. I forgot what department was going on. I thought I had to put it up on my phone, but I don't. But anyway, if y'all was Google, y'all find it. But the police department put out a report saying that they confiscated that bag from one of his passengers, but it was an empty bag and they threw it inside the car to get it out of the way. But the officer put on gloves afterwards. Now, once again, I'm not no Olivia Benson, but that ain't making sense to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think police officers are supposed to take evidence and place it back into a car. And then you put on gloves afterwards. You've already touched it with your bare hands. So what are you putting on gloves for? Make it make sense. That was a crooked cop. And if he had not, if that guy had not recorded that, I promise you, it would have went a completely different way. Nobody in the car was charged, but I think this happened because of the fact that that police officer got caught being crooked. We've all heard stories and we've seen movies where people say that cops have, what's the word, y'all? Framed them. I can think of the word. <laughs> um, it's never happened to me, so I won't lie and say that it did. But it just makes you wonder. It makes you wonder out of all the people that are in jail for drug related offenses, how many of them were framed or the amount of drugs that they said that they found on them was altered just to fit the police department's narrative. That's the reason why they won't legalize these drugs 100% because they make too much money off of these arrests. It, it gives them control. It gives them power. I still don't understand why marijuana not legalized everywhere, but hey, people still gonna do what they do. And in a way, I'm kind of shocked that it's not. I just realized, ain't no. Oh yeah, it is. I thought it wasn't no brown rice here. But in a way, I'm shocked that our money hungry ooh, people haven't legalized it everywhere and put dispensaries everywhere because now they can tax it. Now they can make money off of it. Okay. What do I know? But let's move right along. And two officers were recorded on video physically assaulting a woman who was in handcuffs. So in the video, y'all, you see the woman laying down on her stomach Hands, she's handcuffed behind her back and she does start to move or whatever but she can't go anywhere she's handcuffed on her like on her stomach 
And in the video, you see the officer kick her right in her face. The officer kicked this woman in her face while she's laying face down under arrest. Who does that? It... And in this scenario, I know a lot of times it, it's been non-person of color officer harming a person of color. But that's not always the case, y'all. It's not. In that video where the man, the officer that kicked that woman, they both were black. The the woman that got kicked and the officer that did the kicking, both were black. So, it's not just a race thing. When we say black lives matter, black lives need to matter. It needs to matter. I don't care who you are. It need to matter. And this video shows that it's not just a color thing. It's this person of power versus this helpless person. This person that know that they'll probably get away with it versus this person that know it's my word against theirs and they're probably going to get away with it. That's what this is about. So, I don't... I don't go against all police officers. I don't feel like, you know, all police officers are bad. I don't. And I've I seen videos of people saying, get rid of the police. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, but we need them. We need them to do their job accordingly. It's just like anything in life. <clears throat> I'll use food stamps, for example. Or unemployment. People do unemployment fraud, they do food stamps fraud, etc. That don't mean we should get rid of it just because you have some people that are, you know, taking it for granted and doing with it what it's not intended to be for. But there are millions of people who utilize unemployment or food stamps or government assistance, period, because they need it. And without it, they would be nothing. They would be helpless. And if we get rid of police, we're going to the purge. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to be a part of the purge. And I want it. So for all the people that say get rid of the police, eh, let, let, let's think that out. Let's think that out. Let's think that out. However, what we can do is get rid of all crooked, crooked cops. Like the one that threw that weed bag in that man's car. What they need to do is go back and investigate every charge that he's been a part of that included drugs. Like the way he easily threw it in there, carelessly, that tells me, y'all, that was not that man's first time at the what rodeo. It wasn't. He's done that before. You can't nobody tell me otherwise. Nobody. Nobody. 
Mm -hmm. Mike, I'm gonna look forward. It was a lot. Yeah, probably trap. That's because you're greedy. You should only got one. Yeah, but I wanted more options. So I have a day. All right, I'm about to go to the side. Ow. That was a lot. So, y'all already know. Check the description box below for the website, www.wordaledrive.com. They get the ale sauce, ale drip, ale merch, all that. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the red button right there. Hit the red button right there. So you can be notified each and every time I drop a new video. But if you want to stay connected with the ale drive, jump. Back into the description box, go down to the bottom. Brrr, boom. Right there, number they send social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Add me, follow me, leave me, comment, Instagram, leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me, do whatever. Let me know, side, but don't know, but you want to see what you don't want to see, but 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 you don't